well-being, it's important to have some activities outside of medicine or dentistry as well. One one question that I, I totally forgot about your uh, about your hobby of painting. How do you think that fits into? So there's the doctor you, the cardiologist, and there is a part of you which is artistic, which likes to paint. How do you think that helps you become a better doctor? Does that do you see any amalgamation between them? Absolutely, I th I think I think there's a it it matches well because um, as an artist or someone who paints, you learn to pay attention to detail, like you know the subtle strokes, and you like to pay attention to um, for the lack of a better word, beauty or doing things well, and it it totally translates to when I'm doing a heart catheterization or I'm doing an angiogram. It's sort of like you know. It's the same sort of paying attention to getting arterial access. You know, you have to, you can get arterial access or you can get arterial access beautifully. And then you, when you're taking uh, pictures of angiograms, um, if you see like my angiograms are not that I'm showing off, but you know, there's a difference between uh, just getting a picture which is good enough or, you know, getting like, or uh, doing an angiogram which really shows each vessel separately and looks nice and there's some degree of art to there's a lot of art to that as well i mean it's sort of the same principles as photography so and then so even in other things like creative thinking is very important in medicine and dentistry as well so i think that if someone who has a background in art certainly there, there's a there's a big role for creative thinking, attention to detail, beauty, all of these things in medicine for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw in some philosophical crap, I would say, but I've learned this from Carl Jung. He, he wrote, writes people who can paint and do artistic work like dance, music. He said, this is a expression of your subconscious brain that couldn't find words for itself. So things that you cannot write or say, your brain interprets them in form of art, painting, singing. It's a, it's a personality side of you which is expressing itself in different manners, which is quite unique in its way because it makes you a 3D person. And I have a very, very tough time. This is one of the reason I started off with the YouTube is a lot of people who comes from a side of privilege or resources from countries like India and Pakistan due to cultural reasons and we were a colony and we, we've we been a slave for most of our, like part our, our culture have been, we think 2D. Like if you're a doctor, you, you're supposed to think 2D. But one thing I learned from, from the Western society, especially from the people who are intellectual up here, is that life is very 3D and nothing is very simple. And since when I'm hearing a cardiologist talking about artwork, well, yeah, that makes sense. There's a lot of things that we do not contemplate while thinking about these prospects.